really did your homework on this one. Narrowing down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. Miss you, pal. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. There we go. Probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? We've got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear Lord. Kind of some, so, it, boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane, so. I kind of took this beauty and this elegy. 
Ah. What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? This one? The people of of uh, Bangkok, and and the smog, and how they they can't uh, can't get a flight anywhere, and people can't breathe. Wow! All right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not but worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena. in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Oh, stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least... At least, uh, let me... Let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um... Uh, play you for it you'll play me for yeah, it yeah 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 your little tv game thing i bet i can beat your high score you think that you can beat my high score on my tv game thing yeah i think you're scared now you don't even know what it's called i don't need to know what it's <laughs> called i've seen you play it's right. jumping and running and i have a natural talent oh, for that really? so what do you say chicken is it a bet oh wow okay cowboy Okay, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning, all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. Ah! Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No? No, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! Yeah, and press X to jump. Which one's X? Right thumb. Got it. You'll want to jump over all the pits and the obstacles. <laughs> That's like my thing. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Use your spin attack. Nice. Okay. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot, and that's just it's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. It doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? No, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Oh, these graphics are pretty good, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Good, good. There you go. Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? Really? You're going to start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, me. Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you going to do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you going to do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. What can you I'm do in real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. Oh, my God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. <sighs> Nathan, we killed a god, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He's a samurai. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> Hey, hey, you still with me? I need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? <laughs> but how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Have a seat. Okay. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. They tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, geez, what crazy stories? Got shot, hanging from a derailed train <laughs> in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay, he did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now, get this, okay. I open it up, right? right? And there's no body. But the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and, uh... You made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring. The engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. 
at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but, um... Uh, last year, he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Well, you're not reading tonight. Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards, they're singing. Ah, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan, señor. Fantastic. How long? Next for Samuel Drake. Mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I think a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. 
Soren. How long do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh... I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? Uh, it's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But... Listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid... Got some keys. Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take... Hey! Take it easy! I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is... I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. To you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now. If you run, or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid, like go to the authorities, I'll know. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Here. Come on. No, the nearest town. It's ten kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it, then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. Alcazar lets me go, and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off, and... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. I know, I know, but, uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. Can you see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. <laughs> it would be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam, we could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. 
He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Just try to keep your tucks clean. Thanks. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here. You mean? There you go. Hi. Thanks. Uh, Nathan. Nathan. What? million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <sighs> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? It has ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. There's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Don't you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's beat, 180,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> a 
had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000... Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone! Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Okay. I hope I don't go to hell for this. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right. Skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Hodie mecum eris in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's when Jesus said to St. Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code. Or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but... That means we have... Date of birth, date of death, and... Paradise. Which means we're looking for... Avery's... St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral. But the graveyard is way over here. Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. But come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and... I can, I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy. All those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you. <laughs> But it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay. I love you too. Bye. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth. Right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Oh, 
Is that a door? That sure looks like it. Come here. Check this out. A little slimy. There's a handle in here or something. Well, give it a give it a pull. What? It could be a trap. You're already in there. What's the what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I'd lose my hand? So we'll get you a nice hook. Give it a pull. <sighs> nice hook. All right, here we go. <laughs> really? Hello, hello. It's pretty interesting decor. Those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. To those who prove false, behold your grim fate. Yeah, well, I guess Avery was a better pirate than a poet. This, this isn't Avery's. What do you mean? Look, it's the Rhode Island pirate. Thomas too. Yeah, but it can't be him. I mean, this is clearly his sigil, but two died attacking the same treasure fleet as Avery. Yeah, well, at least that's what the stories tell us. If this really is Two's mark, then that means he's involved in all of this... how? That's a damn good question. Really, really bored. Ugh. I'll never get used to this. Another cross. <laughs> At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? <laughs> Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Read. Yeah. Or lack thereof. Okay, so. It's, it's gotta be the coins. Yeah. Are you sure about this? Oh, pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. Right, just, just one now. Great, I got it. Please don't be a trap. Recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look. Star right here. It's King's Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with this. What are you talking about? Avery. He's screwing with this. This was supposed to be it. So where's the goddamn treasure? Huh? I mean, Kings Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? <laughs> <laughs> You gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have you from last time. Yeah, throwing me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot him yet. <laughs> Not want to hurry then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh, where in King's Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but 
There's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. Well, I'll leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to cross the... You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it! One, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, mate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect themselves. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas II was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the Gunsway Hall look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? people who survived the caves, the recruits, what's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. <laughs> there's a volcano near King's Bay, which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. Uh, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. 
Well, as long as you guys are safe. So, are you gonna start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another ten days or so. Ugh, oh, ten days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just, uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Now, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. See some ruins up ahead. Wait here, I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor, still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of. Our time, you know? Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on it. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Huh. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. Well, who made these cameras? Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. Coming! Check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. And that's, uh... That's, that's Adam Baldridge. That's uh, Joseph Farrow. And that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, <coughs> whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, our treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. 
Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Jesus. Is that all of them? Well, let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? Confirming a suspicion. Yeah. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. Oh, he's passing through. Over there's broken. Hey, Sully, I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <laughs> Jesus, long way down. <sighs> you okay back there? You keep your pace, I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <clears throat> Better shape than the other towers. Edward England's sigil, just like the map said. So, what are we looking for? Good question.
very tall clock tower. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? No, 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 no. I can practically see my house from up here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? Uh, I don't know yet. You? Jeff? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us. Yeah. Only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah. And these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Pro Deus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh my God, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <laughs> it's been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old times' sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quo licentia, forgotten liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. We gotta find some place to hide. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey! Buy a new one.
Sam's Tower. Oh, it's definitely Sam's Tower. Come on. This way. Pardon me. Brilliant. Nate, more of them. Hang on. Oh, Christ.
Okay, hop Come on. on! Sam, get in the goddamn car! I'm faster! Stop arguing! Watch out! Oh, shit! Why chance it? Damn it. That's not good. Holy shit, he's still alive! I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Pro Deus cor licentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. I mean, it's their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe they missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found Libertalia. <laughs> Liberty. Liber, what are you? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but well, what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this... Kami Pirate Sanctuary. Right here. That island, just northeast of Kings Bay. Hey, hey. Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I... I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. 
Try me. Well, for starters, um... This is uh, Sam. Sam Drake. My brother. Hi. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail. But I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever a Malaysia job? Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what? Enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know. Just say it. <laughs> I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. <gasps> how would you react? You lied to me. For weeks. If you were killed, I... I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. Oh my God. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We we put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. Okay, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertalia. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to handle... Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. Got it. Let's go pack your bags. surviving by the skin of our teeth. I think we've actually taken a moment to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Huh? Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna. Yeah. Listen, little brother. 
She will get over it. I mean, we bring back a treasure like that, anyone would. I don't know. Maybe I've, uh, done this one too many times. Somehow I imagined it bigger. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the right place. We'll find us a spot to set ashore. Well, I mean, at least there's an island, right? Yeah, at least there's an island. Just keep an eye out for anything man made. Ah, uh -uh, you mean pirate made? <laughs> sure. Yeah, he's... Looks like he's got a spyglass, but he's not really looking through it. Maybe he wants us to look through it. Treasure Island, eat your heart out. No, no, no. You do the honors. I insist. Come on. <laughs> okay. I'll you. <laughs> All right, Captain. What are we looking at? There. So, big skull-shaped island. What? Big island. No skull. That's gotta be it. Libertalia. <laughs> That's optimistic considering everything. You know, it is just us here. You're allowed to feel just a little bit of excitement over this. Well, I'll get excited when we get Alcazar's noose off your neck. Come on. <laughs> okay. I said okay. No, 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 no. Your okays are never just okay. It usually means the opposite of okay. Is that our boy Rafe? Who the hell else? 